This thing is very seductive. I mean, it moves so effortlessly. Yeah, yeah, it does kick. This is a grown-up Ferrari. Welcome to episode of Jay Leno's Garage. Uh, we have our crew back. We still have some COVID restrictions we have to do, but uh, we're slowly returning to normal. Okay, a car featuring today, kind of automotive royalty. The return of the front-engine V12 opened Ferrari. Uh, although it looks like a hard top, it actually is a convertible. Uh, this is the uh, 2021 812 GTS. Naturally uh, aspirated, that means no turbochargers, no superchargers. The big 6.5 liter V12, uh, close to 800 horsepower, 789, something like that. Uh, when you're dealing with those kind of numbers that high up, 10 horsepower, 15, one way or the other, does make a whole lot of difference. Really a good looking car. I, I think it's fantastic. It's reminiscent, reminiscent of the Daytona, uh, of course, from the early 70s, which was the legendary car, which it sort of mimics uh, with, the, again, the classic front engine. Unlike that one, this has four wheel steering. If you've never driven one of those original Daytonas, they're a bit of a bear to drive, hard steer. I mean, they used to call it a man's car, that they can't use those phrases anymore. Uh, but this one actually does belong to a man, a good friend of ours. He's a Ferrari collector extraordinaire, Mr. David Lee. David, come on in. Good to see you, my friend. Hey, Jay, good to see you. You had your mask on so long, you grew a beard. I Look know, at that. I, figured, I got lazy and I figured, who I needs to shave say, anymore? I thought maybe you're working as a magician in Reno or something. <laughs> I've got the little kind of na na na. Well, did you just get this? Yeah, I just got it. This is like one of the first uh, 812 GTS is in, um, in LA and it's, uh, it's great. I've driven it down to San Diego and back. I've, it's really great car. My favorite era of Ferrari is the 60s and the early 70s, of course. Yeah. And this is sort of a retro look. It harkens back to that style. I mean, the big front engine. Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, you yeah. know, I like big front engine cars because I grew up with them. And I always remember the Daytonas. I remember just as a kid, you know, when you grew, living in Massachusetts, you never saw anything like that. Mm -hmm. And one day I was getting on Route 495 and a guy pulls it off an exit, just past the top down, you know, the exhaust blaring. It was like, yeah. oh my God, <laughs> you, you just didn't see that around yeah, yeah, where yeah, I yeah. grew up, you know. So I, it always stayed in my mm -hmm. mind. So mm -hmm. uh, I heard this thing revving before. It sounds incredible. Red line is just about nine grand, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah, that's pretty, pretty impressive. This yeah. is what Ferrari does best. And uh, you know, there's been some Ferraris I thought looked a bit awkward the last couple of years, whereas this one, I, I think, is a classic style. And it's so hard to get that retro look these days because of all the safety features and headlights have mm -hmm. to be this high sure. and side marker lights and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But they've done a beautiful job on this one. It really is not. And thank you for not getting a red one. I think that's... <laughs> Uh, I, I like to see Ferraris in different colors because I can appreciate them. But when everything's red all the sure, time, I, I get, sure. it gets a bit washed out to me. But uh, I like this. This is sort of a, I guess, a, a gray. What's the official? Well, this is Grigio GTS. So it's a new, even though it's gray color, it's right. there. It's Ferrari's new gray color uh, for this car. Right. So we got it just brand new for this car. Okay. Okay. And of course, well, let's see. Four wheel steering. Those brakes are massive. Yeah. Uh, carbon the discs. Mm -hmm carbon composite, I guess, yeah. with four-wheel steering, which is, which is really fascinating. It really does make the car shrink around you. It feels almost like a Miata in size, yeah. how quickly you can turn. Yeah, well, you know, yeah, you were saying, Jay, like, because this front-engine V12, so it is kind of heavy in the front. So when you're doing on the track, it, it does, it, it, it's different than the mid-engine, but with the four-wheel steering, it helps a lot. Yeah, yeah. And the, real, the rear steering is really just, this much, isn't right. it? Sure. It's, I mean, people got their, they don't do this. <laughs> they don't turn, no. you know, it's like a no, no. shopping cart. Yeah. But it's just enough to, to make a difference. Right. And, and uh, it's really impressive. I like the wheels. That's a new Ferrari wheel, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, specific to this car. Can we open the hood? Let's sure. open the hood. I guess it's on this side here, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's right in the middle, in the bottom. Oh, go ahead, a little red. Sure. You know, Jay, you were saying it's like the, this is really a, a tribute to the um, Daytona Spider, which, which I have as well. And I, and I really see the, uh, the kind of the resemblance um, of how they're trying to remake this as a tribute. But you got the 
massive 6.5 liter right. engine. Probably the last of the V, uh, naturally aspirated V12 that they're going to make because they can't get more power out of this anymore, I don't uh, think. Well, they always say that. When, when the Daytona came out, they had, what, 375? <laughs> That's what they oh, said? Oh, my God. That's what, they, yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. what they said? Okay, so then. And I have to admit, the, the Daytona is impressive with the Webers and mm -hmm. the, uh, the two twin oil filters and all that. But they do a nice job here. At least massive air intakes here. Because yeah. this thing must just gulp air at a voracious rate, yeah, yep. doesn't it? It's, yep. it's pretty incredible. And Ferrari has sort of changed, Dave. This comes with a, a pretty extensive warranty, doesn't it? Yeah, like seven years warranty. S seven years? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. Is that yeah. unlimited miles? Um, I think it's about like 50,000 miles. Yeah, some, yeah, okay. Well, that's great, because I remember the old days it used to be, you know, yon, yon, goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, they locked the door behind it, huh? Well, it's funny, because when the NSX came out, the story goes, that's the car that scared Ferrari, because here was a not necessarily a supercar, but a high performance sports car that was built to a standard mm -hmm. of precision and excellence. Yeah, yeah. It didn't break, it didn't overheat, sure. it didn't have any problem. You know, until the NSX came out, Italian cars had a reputation, finicky, right. passionate, but it could be a problem, sure. uh, don't cross the desert, you know. Yeah. You, <laughs> cross you, the you, know you know what I'm saying, just <laughs> yeah, stuff yeah, yeah, like, yeah. whereas all that's gone, yeah. and, and Ferrari is, is, has a really, uh, uh, up their reliability game mm -hmm. to the point where it's, it's quite impressive now. Yeah. And a seven year warranty for a car like this, that's pretty good. I mean, I, th I think that's great actually. Yeah. Very nice. Yep. Let me see, anything else in here to point? I mean, everything's still covered in. Yeah. But that they, I'm glad that they, you know, they let the, the engine, um, you know, that's their standard look right there. It just looks pretty right, like with that. Right, the Tessarosa. Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah, but you don't get to see as much as the old cars, certainly. And I guess this would, I mean, everything is so, everyone knows the best performance is from a mid-engine car. So this car is built specifically to appeal to a specific type of customer. Right, it's a, right. It's, although it's a true sports car, it's also a grand touring car, yeah. isn't it? I mean, it's comfortable. That's what I love about Aston Martin, mm -hmm. you know. You, when you take your wife or girlfriend out in the car, it isn't an uncomfortable, and they hate right, it, and it's right, noisy. Right. But you know, this is obviously air conditioning and every sure. other conceivable thing. And this, and they've integrated this. I wouldn't know by looking at that this was a convertible. Yeah, they really did a good job on the hard top convertible now. I mean, they really got it down. And obviously, when, when we show how it goes down, you're going to see, but it's just really great. Well, and let's, let's put the top down. Show okay, us how it works. Sure. And you can put it down at speeds. Up to 30 miles an hour, right? Yeah, that's right. So, I will. Wow, pretty cool. Yeah. Almost as cool as my 66 Lincoln. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, well, that's yeah. great, and you really got two cars in one. You know, that's really fantastic. And you know the way it's designed like this, they, the 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 gals' hairs don't get blown all crazy right. and stuff like that. So yeah, that's yeah. important to the wife. Yeah, yeah. Seven speed dual clutch, yeah. right? Yep. How you like the uh, colors inside this? Bike? I like the colors. Yeah. I I like I like the fact that it's not. Every Ferrari I see, people feel they have to get red with the tan, yeah, with the, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You know mm -hmm. because that's what a Ferrari is. Whereas this, it, because it's it's not red, you almost go, what kind of car is that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and then you re then sure. you see the, all the the right. classic Ferrari lines. Well, a beautifully designed car, beautifully styled. I mean, this is what Ferrari does best. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. it, it, this is great. What do these go for? About this is uh, it goes about um, five eighty. Wow, mm -hmm. okay. So what, it's definitely their high-end uh, flagship. What options do you have on here that are perhaps we... Well, you see the um, carbon uh, carbon fiber, right. uh, center console, and driving wheel in the matte, in matte finish. And so it, it's, it's, I mean, in general, it's, in standard, it's pretty stock. These are, of course, new seats uh, with the combination of Alcantara and leather. And it's actually a carbon fiber piece. It's not carbon fiber going over right it's else. a carbon fiber piece so it's along the doors along the center yeah. console I, and the dash so it's I, it's a it's a lot of use of it for i sure. had this ridiculous argument with someone 
And they said, no, you put these carbon fiber pieces on this car and it makes it lighter. I go, oh, it can't make it lighter. He goes, no, that's what the guy said. I said, you know, if I put a five pound carbon fiber hat on your head, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're not going to be five pounds lighter. You're going to weigh five pounds more because it's right. on your head. Right. I said, if you replace it with carbon fiber, mm -hmm. then it's lighter. Well, yeah. That's what they've done here, obviously. Yes, yes, but he, yes, he, yes. he just couldn't get it through his head. Ah. He just thought if you stick carbon fiber on it, <laughs> it didn't, didn't make any sense. It and might not even be carbon fiber. It looks like, now there's a lot of looking like plastic. Yeah, it's yeah. like carbon fiber it's design. It's like kosher style. You know, it's not really kosher. The <laughs> rabbi kosher walked style. by the building. You know something. Um, and I, and the rake of this windshield is incredible. Look at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this this here this piece right here for the GTS. Um, it you know so you know it's a GTS. Oh I see. Yeah. So that the air kind of gets directed towards the center there for right. aerodynamics. Yeah, and is it? Do you have any trunk space with the with yeah. the top down? Yeah, yeah. Let me uh, open up the trunk. Okay. So there's some trunk space here. Oh, and hey, look! Look at that! Look, are, look at yeah, that! Look at that. Yeah, you see? Know, I always make fun of him not wearing socks, <laughs> but he gives me a denim mask. You see, which is very. Very stylish. Yeah, I yeah. Think. See, it's really like, uh, <laughs> and he doesn't have one yet. So this is his first uh, one. Look at that. It looks well, great well, on well, you. Well, very nice. Well, thank, I, I, I will wear this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, thank please. You very much. Sure, 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 sure. And, and you actually have a pretty good sized trunk. And, yeah. Because usually with these type of cars, when the top goes down, it just yeah. takes up the whole trunk. But right. that's, that's impressive. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I mean, in this um, configuration with front engine V12, they, they have a trunk space, and that's with the uh, convertible too. So that without the convertible, yeah. probably bigger. Now this also comes in a hard top, right? Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah, that would be the A12 super fast. And I'm guessing it's probably 275 pounds mm -hmm. difference between this. Yeah. Is yeah. that about right? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. about right. Well, that's not bad. That's like just one. Fat passenger, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess you can yeah. unload that, and, and then when you got 800 horsepower, really, the difference yeah. is a tenth of a second, yeah, maybe. Yeah, because you know, this know. will pull. Yeah, yeah. Well, very pretty, very impressive car. Yep. What other features does it have? Um, uh, of course, it's got the carbon fiber all on the outside, right. and the skirts, and and the rear. It's and amazing. The There's no bright work on the car at all, with the exception of the Ferrari name, and is that? Yeah, that's the Ferrari. Is that polished aluminum or even chrome? I think it's, Pro look, it's polished aluminum. Yeah, uh, there, there's the horse. There's, there's I didn't the get the, the badge on the side, you know, where yeah. you could have the badge on the side. So, I, so this I, I one. I don't like the badge on the yeah, side. It's yeah. like, you know, I, for, right, right <laughs> over here, but, you know, I mean, I, I, I get it. You right, know? right, right, right. I so like I the, ooh, is that a Ferrari look? You know. <laughs> So I didn't do that. So it's it's very more, much more understated. Now is that you know. standard badge on the side? You have to pay no, to that, have that's it. That's an uh, that's an option. That's always an option. They they yeah. you have to pay for. But a lot of you know people that want people to know this Ferrari, they they opt for that option. I love the fact that the, uh, all the scoops and, and vents are functional. Yeah. 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 And of course, you see our number right here. Mm -hmm. How many of these are they going to import? Do you know? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. It's a, it's a, it's definitely a limited production because uh, nowadays, the, with, with the way the Ferraris going, they're not going to say like exactly how many numbers right. anymore. It seems like going forward, but it is a limited production, so it's kind of a mystery. But I know yeah. that it's not. It's really usually not a lot. With, if it's the 812, they make 812. You know, mm -hmm. that's sort of the way they used mm -hmm. to go in the old days. Uh, and guys, you got your paddle. Yeah, the paddle shift. You know, and carbon fiber. And that um, steering wheel doesn't look too busy. I mean, just a few gauges on it there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not to, a few uh, controls rather. This uh, this one is still kind of the traditional Ferrari uh, setup. You know, the Roma is going to be really different, um, and I'm getting that. So certainly we can check that out when that time. But but the Roma has all the the uh, the gadgets and the touch and everything that's really yeah, different. Yeah, this is probably meant to appeal to the older customer with no socks and a beard, <laughs> you know, that, that type of guy. Yeah, yeah, it, it, you yeah, know, yeah. I, it's easy for me to get into some, except something like exactly. this. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly what I'm saying. No, I love it, I think it's great. I, I, I think it's a very impressive looking car. You know, it's it does exactly what you want it to do. Mm -hmm. Nobody's really tracking these. No. You know, mm -hmm. so it's fun to, you can actually drive it someplace. Yeah, sure. Because in the old days, it used to be, oh, don't take the Ferrari because it's 
200 miles and it's going to be noisy and windy and it might break. Right, you know? right, Whereas right. now you've got no. a seven year warranty and, and that's impressive. Yeah. That's impressive. No, this is really a car you can use and take. I, like I said, I took it to San Diego and back, you know, I put in already good 400 miles on it and uh, it's just enjoyable. And driving. how long has Ferrari had the seven year warranty? Because you've got quite a few cars. Yeah, they, they've had it for the last few models. They've had it for five, five years or so. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah. I think. I think that's great. I mean, that shows a real belief in the product. You know? Yeah, yeah. But you know, like you say, competition makes the, the situation. Yeah, you know? it, makes, it makes it better. Yeah, it, it does. Makes it better. Well, you know, there's so many good cars in the mix now. You've got Koenigsegg, you've got McLaren, uh, you've got Bugatti. I mean, the fact that Bugatti can sell 350 cars at so many million dollars yeah, a piece. That's amazing. Uh, you wouldn't even think there'd be that much of a market, but right. that, that's impressive. So yeah. yeah, I mean, it's made Ferrari up their game, just as the Dodge Viper made Corvette up their game. Mm -hmm. You know, before mm -hmm. the Viper, the biggest Corvette you get was 375 horse, mm -hmm. and then the mm -hmm. 400, okay, 450, okay, so, yeah. you know, and it goes from there, but very nice, very yep, nice. Yep. David, show us the control. Sure. I like the pedals too, nicely done. Yeah, there's nice, nice pedals there. And, and the tradition of uh, Ferrari, um, so a lot of the uh, buttons, they wanted to be on the steering wheel so that it doesn't take your hands off of it. Right. Uh, you got the uh, right uh, and the left uh, signals here. The, uh, oh, right. Uh, you know, it's so funny. You know, my Ford GT has the same type of thing. Yeah. And I, I find myself almost looking for stock. And then I, <laughs> so I almost find it. Because every other car in the world has the stock. Right, you know, right, you know. <laughs> right, right. Okay. So, so that's for that. And then you got the washer here. Yeah, uh, you got the high beams here. Right. Uh, this oh, is no high beam on the floor. Uh, no, yep, yeah, yeah, it's high beams here. Yeah. The uh, the bumpy road um, uh, shocks are here. Right. This is the start stop. Right. The phone and the ver uh, verbal command. Now, this is of course important. The Mantonini, which is you got the wet mode, sport, race mode. Right. Uh, the computer off, partially and completely off. Right. So that that's on here. Um, now, is there a comfort mode? Like, do they have that too? Or is it, uh, what that would be sport, sport or wet mode. I mean, I guess okay. they would call it like that. Yeah. Um, so. And which mode do you have it in now? Uh, race mode. Oh, race mode. Okay. And, you know, have you, want you to feel the power um, and the shifting and everything. Here you have all the different temperature, temperature and oil, oil pressure, and all that kind of right, stuff. And exactly. the yeah, tire. I sort of do miss seeing the row of gauges, you know. Yeah. I, I it annoys me. I wonder what the oil pressure. Nope. Oh! I'm looking. <laughs> yeah, you know, just looking at the Yeah, yeah. So it's all you know. You know, you don't have to think about it on the new car. Almost it, it, when I drive my older cars, the classic cars, all the gauges you got to focus on. You know, is right, it going right. to overheat? Is it? Is there this and that? And and it's so much. So much more concentration here. You just don't have to concentrate anymore. And so the wheel's a nice compromise to a full oval with the flat bottom on it there, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then over here, you got the reverse, the automatic, and then the uh, launch control right here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You got to do the launch control when. No, you know, something. <laughs> okay. I don't really use launch control. Uh -huh. I always feel like I'm taxing. I, I know they can do it, right. but I just feel like I'm just twisting metal to take them. I yeah. like a I like a rolling start, and then I nail it. Right. And to me, that's a, the idea of tearing off and you know, shredding tires and smoke, and it's all right. right I mean, it's, right, right, it's a right. little high school. Yeah, yeah, that's like the high school button. Yeah, right yeah, there. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know that that's uh, you got the up right here. This is an important one where where it lifts the up, you know, in the, oh, the oh, front. Oh, lift the front end. Yeah, okay. yeah. So that's good for on, coming off the curbs and things like that and the different uh, angles, uh, the button for the different angles, uh, the parking sensor. So now they have all that. And, and I've noticed the last two, because my, my F8 uh, Spider and this one, I've noticed that it, it comes with this just um, changing lane uh, uh, autom uh, warning signal. Right, right. And, and so when you, when you, you know, you put the signal to change lane, and even though somebody's really far away, it's like, hey, somebody's right there. So you right, can, right. it makes so you kind if of. If a lesser car approaches you, hey, <laughs> oh, there's some low end car coming up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. yeah, so that's that's what that's about. But yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. That's, cool. that's you know, really it. Let's give it a shot. Sounds good. Yeah. What? This thing is very seductive. You know, it's nice to have this much power with pretty extreme comfort. I mean, this is a Mercedes-Benz or Bentley or Rolls-Royce level of comfort in this car. 
uh, and combined with the power and the handling, it's really, really, really impressive. You know, Jay, you've been in a lot of my cars, and I really feel that you felt very, you sat very comfortable in this car, and uh, obviously the uh, the power doesn't disappoint you. So yeah. No, it's it's good. Well, it's the best of both worlds, isn't it? I mean, I have a Carrera GT, which I love, but to put the top up, it's oh, I. I I, I put it up if I think I'm going to be using it for the next month because it's such a pain to figure out the straps and it w you know which way it goes. This one goes down, the other piece goes turns the other way. Uh, I, I mean, this you can do it on the fly. You can do it. It's it speeds up to 30 miles an hour, so you're okay. Yeah, no, it's definitely very convenient. But there is a weight penalty, like you say. It's about not quite 300 pounds, something like that. But that's okay. With 800 horsepower, you know. You know, the writer David E. Davis from Car and Drive and Automobile, it's one of my favorite expressions. He said that, or favorite sayings, I guess. He said everyone should drive a V12 car at least once in their life. And this is really the classic example of it. You get a smoothness, a turbine-like quality to it that almost feels electric, like an electric car in the sense of, uh, if it wasn't for the noise, you'd think it was electric. It's so incredibly smooth and well balanced. Well, and, and like, like you said earlier, the naturally aspirated is what gives you that sound. Once it uh, goes, uh, you know, electric or any kind of uh, turbo, it's just going to be really different. Um, there was an article they asked about uh, in Bloomberg that just kind of aired and it was about, you know, how quick and how everything is with electric and more powerful. And, I, you know, I said, I don't like it. You know, I, I like the sound. I like the, po the power and the roar and stuff. And I'm, I know you're in the same camp. It's not a Well, I like the electric. You know, it's so funny. I like the glorious noise and I like the complete absence of sound. I wouldn't want an electric car that made just like a regular car idling kind of noise. You know what I mean? Just a noise. So the idea that you can move quickly from point A to point B without anybody even turning ahead is interesting. I know living uh, in Los Angeles, especially now that you have to have outdoor dining, like in Beverly Hills, you just hear open pipe Ferraris just going up and down Rodeo Drive, just revving, they're just making, I mean, to the point where I go, oh, I see why people hate car people, because they're just being disruptive, you know. With electric cars, you don't have any of that. But I like this because I'm, I'm driving and now I don't hear the noise. And when I put my foot down like now, then it's, oh my God. it's like a glorious symphony, you know? And just when I think I'm out of revs, I realize, oh, I'm only at six grand and I got 3,000 more to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see what you mean. I, I, can, I can agree with you. I remember a Ferrari from the 60s I drove once, the Super America, I believe it was called. And that was a that was a big car like this one. And it was the same sort of idea, grand touring, comfortable car where you could cross continents with it, you know? And I thought that thing was fabulous. But I, I'm just surprised at the level of comfort and precision. I mean, it's really very, very nice. Well, um, you know, I, I, I read that in this, in this lineup of what all the cars that were kind of in line with this car, first, of course, the Daytona Spider, then the uh, 550 Barchetta, which, which I have, uh, then the uh, 575 Super America, which you, which you talked about driving, the 599 SA, and now this uh, 812 GTS. So it's that, right. you're, you're exactly right. It's in that same line of what they're trying to do. I mean, it moves so effortlessly. And you can hear the uh, engine so much better with the top down. I mean, that's the thing that some people, uh, you know, they don't understand. I mean, with the top down, you can hear the engine. This sounds better. Yeah, and there's a feeling of more, you know, so many modern cars, uh, I feel like I'm driving a tank. You know, the windshield's like a slit and the windows are small. So the fact that this opens up to the air like this is really great. And we're so lucky to live in Southern California where the weather is always, most of the time, I mean, 95% of the time, so good. Right. I mean, later we'll drive it with the top up and see the difference. Are you getting looks and, and stuff or is it very unassuming as we planned it to be? Well, you know, the, it's interesting. If you wanted to hide from the police, this gray color is the best way to do it. I mean, it, it's like, oh, what is, what, hey, what is that? You know, it does sort of, blend into traffic. Yeah, it does kick. 
pretty smooth, right? The shifting is oh, um, oh, incredibly smooth. The double clutch. Transmission is fantastic. Yeah, it does. Boy, it really, it really moves. It's amazing. It's like a guy in a tuxedo suddenly bursting into song and dance. You know, it, it, uh, it's unassuming. Right, 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 right. And the sound is perfect. It's just loud enough to make you aware without being droning or being annoying. I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, this is a built up Ferrari. For the big boys, for sure. Well, it is, yeah, yeah. I love the tachometer right in front of the driver. I like the fact that this car has a purpose and it does it well. You know, some of the air fryers we had to, it's supposed to be this, but they got a foldable roof and you got to take it, you know, or there's no roof at all, which seems crazy. You know, just the fact that I can talk with the top down is impressive because in most cars, we have to close the windows because the mic will be all blown all over the place. But yeah, no doubt, no doubt. And, and you know what I was, um, the other, obviously, if you plug the phone through the, the system and you could then do this uh, uh, handless uh, talking through the car and it's, it's also very good too. Right, right. Let's see what we have here. Okay. 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 Here you go. Here you are. And we're ready to go. Look at that. Very cool. It's funny, it's actually noisier with the top up and the windows down. When the windows close, it's probably dead silent, but it's a Ferrari. We got to put the top down. There you go. Very quiet. Oh, you got the, the top on now? It's actually dead silent here now. Yeah, now it's, uh, now it's super uh, comfy now. Now you can listen to your music and everything. Oh. Jay, do you normally have your radio on or you're not a radio? No, I'm not a big radio guy. I'm not this. I am listening to the music of the engine now. <laughs> I, I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Oh, I love the, uh, I, I just saw the, uh, the red line and the tack and the steering wheel. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, it's cool because they really want to keep, you to keep your eyes on the, on the uh, focus in the, in the, in the yeah. center there and that right there. Can I'm at six know. grand. Let's go to right now, 85. Oh, there we go. Let's see how these brakes work. Carbon fire. <laughs> the carbon ceramic brakes is gonna. Yeah, you gotta tell me how that works. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. I guess that. I guess this voids my uh, break-in period warranty, huh? Yeah, that's. Oh, are you still on? How many miles on break-in? <laughs> I think. I think it's a thousand miles. <laughs> wow. But it doesn't restrict the red line or anything. It seems. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Yeah. Wow, this is a great car. You know, I love that it's an overstated car in an understated color. So consequently, it's classy. You know, it's a classy color. You get all the the Ferrari essence in terms of style and sexiness without having it right in your face. I mean, I do love red cars, but I see so many red Ferraris that it, it becomes overwhelming to me. And I, in, in this shade, it gives it a nice, subtle, like you don't have to broadcast the fact that it's a Ferrari. Well, David, it's a lot of fun. I, you know, I'm sorry I can't return it to you. I've got an appointment in Vegas in about <laughs> yeah. three and a half hours. So I'll, I'll try and get the car back to you tomorrow. But, but thanks a lot. You know, you, <laughs> Wait, Jay, it's all right. Uh, I, I see a McLaren F1 here that I can take to borrow. Uh, why are you taking it for the weekend? Yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out. But hey, <laughs> all serious, David, thank you. This is a real treat. You always bring these cars here that we would have no access to. So thank you very much. So David thank Lee, you, everybody, Dave. see you next week.